Good morning from the Loud House. Today's Monday and I'm up doing laundry, getting the house ready for the week. Leah's downstairs making breakfast, it smells so good. So we're gonna head down there in a second, but I just wanted to start off the vlog and say good morning. I always talk about this, like when I was in, when I was in New York, I felt like I didn't get really good sleep. Um, I don't know, something about like not being in my bed, in my home, I don't get the best sleep, but being at home i get the best sleep ever so i woke up this morning i woke up really early this morning and then i laid in bed for a little bit watching some stuff on my ipad and then i fell back to sleep and then i finally got up and it's like 10 23 well i've been up for a while but i've just been hanging out in my bed and it just feels so relaxing to do this because i know what my week is going to look like i was trying to call my nail tech and see if i can get an appointment but they're not answering the phone. I think they might be closed for the holiday. So I might just go tomorrow when I get off work. Speaking of work, I need to check my schedule for this week. Oh, I'm off Thursday this week. Nice. Okay. I work Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I realized that I didn't like really talk about my hair and I saw that I was getting a few questions from you guys on Instagram. My hair is from my beautician. I go to the same beautician. I'll have her info linked down below. This is a U-part unit. She used like the little curler to, or like the little wand to blend my hair with the curly texture. But I feel like when I go back, I'm gonna ask for layers because I just like the way that layers, like curl, especially on curly hair, frame my face so much better. So I'm gonna see if I can get layers cut into this. But my inches are like 20, I think I have like two 28s and a 26 or something like that hold on or maybe 226 and a 24 226 and a 24 or 226 and a 22 i don't know but anyway i feel like i want to do layers and just give it more you know like volume but yeah anyway welcome back to another day let's go downstairs and see what leah's up to These cups don't hold like a full Nespresso pod, so I just always like take whatever is remaining and sometimes I'll just put it in the fridge and make it into an iced coffee. So I'm gonna make Leah one. Since this is a vanilla pod, I'm just gonna do vanilla bean syrup. Add some milk. Oh, I thought this milk said April 4th. I was like, wait, what? What did it say? June 4th. Not even like a full iced coffee. There's no breakfast for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to dogs completely understanding what we say <laughs> like I find that to be one of the most fascinating things ever so I told Milo that he can go with me because I'm getting ready to go to Trader Joe's and Target do you guys know it's been about a month since I've been in Target and it's definitely a big deal because at one point I was going to Target like every other day. But it's been about a month. So I'm going to go in there today because I want to get my favorite candle that I've been telling you guys about for over a year now. Um, I've run out. And since I like to light my candles every morning, I just want to go and get a backup. But I also need to 
stuff at the bank so i gotta go and deposit this cash that i have on me the other night i went to my bank i went to my other bank because that bank is like further away from me so i only will stop there if i'm like in passing you know but anyway so i was there the other night and this guy was behind me and my nails have grown out so long and it's like one of those older atms i feel like the newer ones have there's my hair sticking out but i feel like the newer ones have the um card slot that's not way in like the older ones you or the older ones have like the the card slot is like way in so you have to if you have long nails it's harder to get it out and i feel like some of the gas pumps used to be like that too but anyway so i was trying to get my card <laughs> i was trying to get my card back out of the little car slot and i couldn't and so the guy he was like looking out of his window like what is this girl doing and so i was like excuse me can you help me get my card out and i was like my card is stuck and i was like can you get my card out for me he's like get your card out i kept saying it's stuck but i meant to say i can't get it out like <laughs> it wasn't stuck i mean it was stuck for me because my nails were in the way but anyway so he gets out the car he reaches in he grabs it out he's like yeah it's stuck i was just like thank you but i wanted to be like my nails <laughs> you know he probably thought i was i don't know what he probably thought but he was just like yeah it's stuck and i'm like dude just give me my card and that was another reason why i was like i need to go and get my nails done but anyway so i need to stop at my other bank and go deposit cash and so i'm gonna do that while i'm out i also want to stop at trader joe's i didn't realize yesterday when i went grocery shopping that i didn't have like i didn't get any eggs because i thought i had a full thing of eggs but we've been making breakfast every day and now i'm down to like seven eggs so i need to go and get a new card of eggs i just want to put on some clothes and a little bit of makeup i just used this thing that i always use i've told you guys about it so many times it's the ola hemrickson um, banana bright cc stick i think and then i'm going to i'm gonna do a little bit of contour and i'm using truffle by fenty I wanted to show you guys my little lip combo that I'm doing today. Um, I didn't realize that y'all really like my lip combos and you guys are curious about them until I started going through my Instagram DMs and seeing the questions about my lip combos. I'm like, oh girl, I have plenty. <laughs> so I'm just using the Espresso Lip Liner by NYX. And this is one of my favorites because it is like the perfect shade of brown for me and my skin tone. And then I'm gonna go in with YSL Beauty's um, Love Shine Candy Glow in the shade 6B. It's a brown nude. I tried to fix my lip shines if you guys saw the previous vlog i told you guys that it melted outside when they delivered it but it is a very pretty brown shade so cute and i just leave the center i just kind of try to leave like the center of my lip that natural pink color but yeah so this is it for my makeup i'm just gonna spray some of the um what is it called benefit the professional setting spray and i'll show you guys what i'm wearing my outfit's kind of cute even though i'm not going anywhere like too crazy i'm just going to trader joe's but i was thinking about putting on my little bottega dupe earrings all right let me figure it out i'll show you guys in a second outfit of the day i'm just wearing these outdoor collection leggings from skims and this shirt is from zara it's a linen top and i just have it buttoned i'm wearing my pearl necklace from amazon and just some gold jewelry and my gucci bag 
and my New Balance sneakers. I also need to switch out my lens for my wide angle. But first, I want to show you guys. I don't know what. What is it? I'm so used to the wide angle that this feels super cropped. But um, for my fragrance of the day, I'm wearing this one. It's the Valaya Valaya by Parfums de Marly. And I'm going to layer it with Delina exclusive. raining while I was in Target but it seems like it's slowing down a little bit I finished up in Trader Joe's went in Target and surprisingly got exactly what I came here for so now I'm gonna stop over at this one coffee shop that I used to come to all the time when I would go to Pilates over here um hopefully they're open I keep forgetting it's an American holiday but they have really good matcha boba and or like boba matcha i don't know however you say it which i don't know which way it goes but they have really good um matcha and i want to go and get one let's see if they're open oh yeah they're open they close at seven all right so we're gonna run and grab that and then i'm gonna head home also target has some really really nice quality home decor pieces the studio mcgee collection um they have some really good pieces so if you are looking to like upgrade your home decor and i know a lot of you guys love my home decor i get a lot of my stuff from either target or amazon which stay tuned because i have a video coming of like my amazon home decor favorites so I've been getting it's like highly requested so I want to um, film that for you guys but really good pieces here at Target I tried to show a few clips but I was carrying a, um, a basket my camera my phone and it was just a mess child so I wasn't able to get a lot of footage while I was in there but really cute pieces or really nice pieces the way this person next to me just swerved into this parking spot <sighs> a pro driver they are oh it was her okay period the way she whipped this big truck into this parking spot milo is so funny he's in the car with me you guys can't see him because i have him in the back I found out that dogs should not be riding like just freely in the car which makes so much sense I don't know why I was doing it but um like especially small dogs it's really good to just put them in like a little crate I would just have Milo in his little bed in the back seat and I would like latch his harness onto the little it's like a latch thing that they have on the um seat on the doggy bed or like yeah on the doggy seat and then you can loop it through the seat belt so i um okay you're not even gonna stop what, what is wrong with people today but yeah so anyway i would like latch milo onto his little seat and then put loop the seat belt through the back of it and that's how i had him sitting in the car but then i found out that that's not safe for dogs to just leave them like that so i i hook his um doggy seat in the very back it's safer for him to ride in the back so i have him hooked up back there but anyway 
um, usually when I get out of the car he cries because <laughs> he wants to go in the store with me but it was raining and Milo hates the rain y'all yesterday um it's so funny because Leia FaceTimed me she was downstairs taking him out through the garage and she put his raincoat on because it was pouring raining yesterday and she was trying to get him to come out this boy would not budge he was sitting down in the garage like no like pulling back wouldn't let her take him out because it was raining i'm gonna insert the picture right here because i was cracking up when i saw it when i got out of the car to go inside a target he didn't even cry he literally did not make a peep he's like you go ahead i'm good like going out in the rain is not his forte but i just leave the windows cracked a little bit and i just have the shades up so that he can just chill in the back he's probably taking a nap because he hasn't said anything or made a sound or anything i'm saying he hasn't said anything like he can talk ciao if he could oh what is flying around back there So they actually didn't have the matcha boba anymore, but they had the, this is a matcha with mint and mango. I thought it was kind of interesting. Many people may be thrown off by the mint, mango, and matcha mix, but it's actually pretty good. Oddly enough, and it has coconut milk. Anyway, I'm gonna head home. It doesn't know if it wants to rain or be sunny so it's a little bit of both but i want to head home because i want to start editing this vlog i really wanted to stop at barnes and noble and get a new book but i'm actually currently rereading the audacity to be queen i feel like i always like to go back to this book because throughout the book it gives you like little exercises and things for you to like write down in your journal and I, i've noticed like i've read this book probably i think this is like my fourth time reading it I'm not even gonna lie but i feel like when i do the exercises now my answers are so much different than they were the last time that i read it and the time before that and even the first time that i read it and i really just i don't know i feel like writing down my answers to the questions that the book asks it is kind of like a self-help book but it really helps you tap into your queen it's changed the way that i respond to things it's changed the way that i view things it's just changed a lot for me so i love reading that book i always go back to it if there's any book that i would ever recommend for any woman to read it's the audacity to be queen by gina DeVee. i'll link it down below but i'm rereading it and i'm like midway through now and um i'm gonna be done soon and whenever i'm whenever i finish reading a book i always like to have a book like a backup book because when i'm done like i always want to tap into something else and it's almost june i told myself i was going to read a book a month i'm on track for reading a book a month um i think i'm actually one book over and um i told you guys in the last vlog that y'all gave me like a bunch of good book recommendations so i really wanted to pick up a new one that one of you guys recommended but i didn't stop in barnes and noble because it was raining and now that the rain has stopped i kind of want to go over there and get a book or at least see what they have um as far as like romance novels that's another thing reading romance novels has really helps me okay not that i ever stopped believing in love but you know when you know like back when you were a child when you would watch all the princess movies and it really made you believe in like that fairy tale kind of love but then you get older and you experience life for what it really is and you realize like it's not always gonna be a fairy tale but i feel like when i read the romance novels i tap back into my inner child that little eight-year-old girl who believed in that type of love and now i'm like back i'm back in that like i believe that that fairy tale love exists and um 
I don't know I just like submerging myself into these books and the stories that these pages tell or these novels or these yeah these novels tell like I I love it so much I love reading romance novels self-help books are good they're cool but nothing beats a good romance novel for me so I just want to get a new book so I'm gonna stop over at Barnes and Noble because I have to pass that way anyway to get back home and just see see what books they have for me to throw myself into again so we're gonna run in there really quick and then I'm gonna head home We got the goods. I'm so excited because they had one left of Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. They had one left. This book has like 4.9 stars, okay? So I really wanted to get it. And then I also got Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. I'm hooked on Kennedy Ryan. Every book that I've read by her, okay? Every book that I've read by her has been a hit every single one like she she's yet to miss so I got this one and I appreciate the fact that it's a thicker one um okay so that's it we're heading home so I'll see y'all once we get there one thing about me as soon as I get home I'm changing into some comfier clothes <laughs> I guess I can show you guys what I got from the stores so from Target I just got a new mop much needed so i got that because i want to mop up the floor yesterday i um i mopped but i feel like the floor is still kind of sticky i dropped my lime juice i had to go back to the store actually and buy a new one but um as soon as we got home i dropped the lime juice and it shattered all over and like spilled all over the floor so i had to like mop it up yesterday but i feel like my mop is just dingy listen it was time to get a new one because i've had that same mop since we moved here um so it was time anyway but from Trader Joe's I just got two bags of these tortilla corn tortilla lime chips um chili and lime actually and then I got another bottle of this olive oil I am not nearly I haven't even put a dent in the newest bottle or the latest bottle that I got but I'm now onto that one. So I like to always have a backup. So I got this. This is my favorite olive oil. It is so, it, it's the best olive oil that I've ever used. And then um, I got two, everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. I've been putting this in my eggs. Um, I think I told you guys, but Muff's mom is the one who told me to put this in my eggs and game changer. So I got two of those because I know I'll go through them. And then I got two cartons of eggs. And, and then also from Target, I just got another wrinkle releaser. Um, and my favorite candle. The Sam's Hall and Ginger. I know a few of you guys have been tagging me saying that you got this candle and you love it. If you haven't tried it already, you should. And that is pretty much all that we got or all that I got from the store. I'm gonna put my eggs away. making dinner but I'm gonna make myself another um, mocktail a few mint leaves Oops, a little bit of lime juice 
use the end of this wooden or the end of the silicone spoon to muddle. Drop in a few blackberries. Lime wedge. Okay. This one is super pretty with the blackberries. I'll stop. That's so good. Okay. Tonight for dinner, we're having Chick fil A at home. We just did like chicken patties. Um, with cheese, lettuce, tomato, and a few waffle fries, which honestly look like they could have stood a little extra time in the air fryer. And then my little mocktail. And this looks so good. Oh, and I have Chick-fil-A sauce over here. I feel like I just needed a moment to breathe. <laughs> I was supposed to end off the vlog, but I just wanted to not end it off yet. I just finished making my bed. It's already 9.30, so I'm actually about to shower and get into bed, but it's something about the summertime, even though we're not in summer yet, but it's something about summer and like fruit water and like mint I don't know it's so fresh I just put water over my um the fruit and the ice that I had left over in the glass after I made my mocktail and I just so good like you can really taste the mint like I said I'm about to take my shower and I'm gonna lay in bed and start reading but I was trying to decide which book I wanted to read these were both blind buys like I don't know anyone who's read either of these so it's like a blind date with a book i like the idea of having a blind date with a book i might start this one i was glancing over some of like the praise comments i saw a comment that said this is the perfect book for summer so i think i want to start this one this one's a little bit smaller so at least you know when a book is close to ending and you're just sad because it's like you really don't want it to end at least i know that i can be excited for this one you know so Anyway, I was telling you guys. Oh my God, I can't get the damn book. So I was telling you guys about this book that I started reading on my trip to New York. And this one is very heavy. I don't know, I <laughs> like to read things that are more light. This one's really heavy, but it also is eye-opening so if you decide to read this one brace yourself i found myself reminiscing and um i don't know i felt angry i felt sad i felt happy that it was a bit relatable so many different emotions um overwhelmed me when reading this book so if you decide to read it just know that there are definitely different layers many different layers in this book and it's not even that long but there are many layers to this um the other book that i was telling you guys about that i'm currently reading again which i'm i have this much to go but um it's the audacity to be queen i've told you guys about this book so many times it's a great read i recommend that every woman read this book but there was something that I read in here the other day and I wanted to share it with you all. I actually took a picture and posted it on my story so I can just read it from there. Uh, here it is. It says, oh, page 118. Okay, so the name of the chapter is Bending bending space and time i would say start there but no read the whole book <laughs> um but anyway it says for millions of big-hearted women across america 
hope addiction something about the term hope addiction like I could just I feel it I relate to it I understand it so well without even like I mean it's very much self-explanatory but the moment that I read this little section and I'm sorry I keep cutting myself off but there are also many layers to this not as heavy as the other book that I just showed you guys but I can read you guys this whole little section right here I'm gonna read it from here to here it says waiting for the right time syndrome that's a part of hope addiction we are addicted to just feeling hopeful and never re let me just read it okay so it says waiting for the right time syndrome have you ever endured an unfulfilling relationship clinging to the fantasy that it would get better one day because somehow you were sure your partner would change or have you tolerated a struggling acting career, a body that looks like your kid's lumpy, bumpy cake, the belief that life is difficult and that you're fine being single? If any of these sound familiar, I'm sorry, because that means that you too dropped your wand and forgot you could bend space and time. For millions of big hearted women across America, hope addiction is the balm that numbs the pain of feeling stuck stopping us from taking the action to manifest our epic lives. We stay in underwhelming jobs and unfaithful marriages. We drive sensible cars and live in average neighborhoods. We find ourselves at the same company in the same position for years, even though we've worked really hard the entire time. Typically, we know we can do better. It's just not the right time. We're waiting for that illustrious one day where we'll have a cushy savings account and empty space in our calendars the size of Texas. Months of stalling turn into years of unlived life. Day after day, we keep procrastinating, telling ourselves that as soon as we send the youngest off to college, pay off the mortgage and land the next client, as well as have every item checked off our to-do list, then at last, we'll finally have the time to create the pitch deck for our startup idea, learn French in France, or renovate our olive green 70s kitchen to the all white marble version on our vision board. Can somebody please tell me who came up with this concept of the right time and left us all fantasizing that it's on its way? The truth is, it will never feel like the perfect moment to quit your job, file for divorce, start your family, and the list goes on. And if you've been stuck in hope addiction, rather than being a queen who activates her superpowers to bend space and time, it's not your fault. You've been played by a very convincing archetype with the flair for menacing. <laughs> Listen. That whole section was super profound. And it applies to me in my life. I feel like I don't like the idea of feeling like there aren't enough hours in a day or like I have to wait until Malaya graduates high school or I started working and now I work two jobs, which are the equivalent to one job plus I create content. So it's like having a full time job plus a part time. I feel like I'm just filling my hours in my days it's almost like I keep trying to psych myself uh, psych myself out and tell myself like I'm doing this to set myself up for something else later but then I had to take a moment and think about this and I'm like am I doing this because just like out of fear um, I know what it is that I want to do I know what it is that I should do I feel like sometimes I am moving further away from my purpose when I try to fill up my hours and my days with other things. I don't know if that makes any sense. I hope it does. But this week I'm making a few executive decisions and yeah, yeah, I just am. <laughs> Realize that I genuinely enjoy creating content and I think I have started to feel guilty because I feel like I'm slipping further away by filling up my time and my days with my other jobs and I want to be able to do it all because don't get me wrong I enjoy working at my jobs um, but I also enjoy my me time and my peace of mind is way more important to me than any job I'm making some decisions this week going into the new month I need to do more doing 
less talking and less planning and more doing too like i can plan forever and never move on anything because i'm just like i don't know i just talk i talk myself out of my ideas sometimes and this is just me being real with you guys like i have to change who i surround myself with change up a few of the things that i partake in i need to get serious about being serious i'm sorry if it sounds very vague or surface level it's just i just don't want to talk about things i just want to be about it and that's like my model going into the third quarter so yeah anyway i love you guys if you made it all the way to the end thank you so much for hanging out with me in this vlog do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads and i will catch you in the next one mm -hmm.